Well, the report got people talking here at home, as well as sites ravaged by wildfires in California and a hurricane in Florida. Recently built FEMA manufactured housing units auctioned off for a steal. Well, tonight, investigator Mario Diaz is back with an update. While some purchased units for a steal, others simply drove them away. How much sense does it make to actually sell a manufactured housing unit that no one has ever lived in before? at a fraction of the price that the government paid for? FEMA attempts to silence Channel 2 investigates during a recent media conference call. Your line is now muted. The federal agency conducting the call weeks after our investigation exposed FEMA auctioning off manufactured housing units built in 2017 and 18 at a fraction of what the feds paid for. I think I got this trailer for $19,244. Donnie Ganaway showed us his 2018 Southern Energy model days after purchasing it. State officials confirmed it was never lived in. It's amazing. I can't explain it, but they have their way of doing things and why I don't know. Yet it was put up for sale on the GSA auction site. The opening bid, less than $1,000. I'm hitting star one again. To this day, no one from the agency has yet to sit down with us for an interview or grant our cameras access to a staging yard in her. Is it possible we can take our cameras into the facility here? Oh no, they don't do any photography inside. FEMA admits travel trailers and manufactured housing units that can cost up to $70,000 are auctioned during a surplus. As for the dollars generated, they are I would use them for what I bought them for and not sell them new. There'll be another storm. There always is. After watching our initial reports, government contractor James Roden expressed his concerns to Channel 2 Investigates over what he saw in Orange. Why would somebody steal somebody's house? Roden is referring to disaster relief housing gone missing following Harvey. General Land Office officials confirm multiple state purchased FEMA travel trailers were stolen. To this day, they have never been recovered. The biggest thing that they lacked was the, the tracking system to, to be able to know exactly where those units were at. FEMA does have satellite trackers on their units. The state says satellite trackers were not required for GLO placed units for the Hurricane Harvey short term housing mission. Aside from missing trailers, documents obtained by Channel 2 Investigates indicates televisions went missing from units while in FEMA's possession. Government records show televisions are not listed as missing on some of FEMA's deactivation inspection reports conducted at their staging yard. But audit inspections conducted weeks later on those same unmoved units clearly describe missing TVs. FEMA in an email says they have a reason for this. TVs were removed to preserve and prevent damage, adding the TVs were eventually returned. Now, we did reach out to FEMA for their reaction to the two travel trailer units stolen in Orange and Beaumont that, once again, to this day, have not been located. Trailers paid with your taxpayer dollars. FEMA did not get back to us with a response. Dominique and Keith, uh, these trailers simply disappeared. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, you can see how it happened. The bigger ones obviously need a semi for delivery, but the little ones, you just hook up to the back of a truck and out of there. Simple as that, correct? Yep. Yeah, so in the future, now that this has happened, does the state in the future plan to put satellite trackers on their units? We asked the state that very same question. They deferred to FEMA. Ah. Didn't give you an answer. Obviously. We haven't heard back from FEMA either. All right, Mario, thank you for digging in.